Mental Health Monday is sponsored by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. But I'm man enough to say I got some issues. Look. Do you ever turn on your favorite tunes to help decompress and combat your anxiety? Well, if you do, you're not alone. It's Mental Health Monday. In today's segment, we take a look at the latest cutting-edge research into music therapy. And we show you how creating sounds is helping one young artist mm -hmm. cope with depression. Who am I? I'm a conqueror of depression. Music is very powerful and it's a great coping mechanism. And I know you can relate, yeah. You can get out of that mental health crisis. I did not tell my parents I was suicidal and I wanted to not be here since I was eight. Imagine that 10 years of me not saying anything. My name is Christopher Stevenson. I was born and raised in Dallas. These are my parents right here, Christopher Stevenson Sr., Raquel Stevenson. Music can help everybody that deals with some sort of mental health, big or small. I think music is an excellent choice as a coping mechanism. That's why I'm a music therapist. I'm Daniel Tagg. I am chair and assistant professor of music therapy at Southern Methodist University. We have been doing some research studies in conjunction with my students. We wrote a piece of music using slower beats per minute, melody that's not going up and down too much, not too much instrumentation. If you are paying attention to some of those qualities of the music, you can successfully use those things to help yourself relax. We wanted to test and see whether or not it actually helped them reduce their anxiety and, and help them with stress. It's pretty powerful to think just doing a very short 10 seconds of some guided breathing and listening to five minutes of music in a quiet place can dramatically reduce your anxiety. I mean, this could be very useful for everybody, not just college students. I most definitely can relate. Yes, this is proof that music not only affects your mental health, but it affects your way of life. So my mama tips for me to change. My music is based off of a stigma that, you know, I had to just be this tough guy all the time, and it was exhausting. But I'm man enough to say I got some issues. Look, his music, I believe it's therapeutic. It's true to the core, and I think that's what society needs today, not to sugarcoat it, but actually get in the roots and even the, the ugly places that we don't want to talk about. Because I sacrifice a lot of things morally. I did that. When I was 15, I started writing because, you know, I used to just get into verbal altercations, fights. I feel like this is a way that I can get all of that self-destructive energy out and it comes back positive. Pain speaks to pain. Yeah. There are people who right now are depressed, but that doesn't make you any less of a person. You can help so many people with your story. Mama always said, be who you're supposed to be. He's not afraid to speak his truth. And it's okay to hurt, yeah. but what are you gonna do to get out that hurt? And you can always find links to mental health resources at kcalnews.com.